so hello everyone and welcome to my channel uh finally finally i pulled myself together and made a youtube channel i've just been on instagram uh, for not that long at all uh, but people seem to like what i do so yeah why not start a youtube channel do some inspiration and yeah i want to share what i love to do and that's makeup so yeah today i've cre created this look it's kind of like a sugar skull inspired uh, queen uh, pink hair look i don't know what i'm gonna call it but i like it uh, i'm gonna show you how you do this on a budget because i hate it when you check out people's stuff and you're like oh that seems really cool I want to do the same but then he's like yeah this is gonna cost you like $400 this way is actually from eBay it's like $10 uh, maybe 15 and this crown is like I don't know $7 and the rest of the makeup is really cheap it's uh, Milani or black face paint that you can use and regular black eyeshadow really cheap stuff yeah so i'm going to show you how i created this look uh, and if you like the video please give me a thumbs up i'm really new to uh, youtube as i told uh, so yeah that would really be motivating for me and also if you like it and want to see more of what i do subscribe to my channel it's going to be a lot more coming uh, before halloween and also beauty everything and hair dye and cutting my hair and yeah everything if you want to see it please subscribe if not don't leave any hate no i just kidding not kidding not kidding but yeah hope you like it and yeah enjoy yeah so i'm gonna begin with a foundation i'm using the photo focus from wet and wild in the shade shade uh, shell ivory it's pretty light it's actually lighter than my actual skin tone as you can see uh, and I'm just blending it out uh, with my makeup that I already have on. Um, this is, yeah, starting from a base that I already had. Uh, so I'm just building it up and adding some concealer. I'm using the uh, concealer creamy covering from Makeup Mecca in the shade Light Natural uh, and just blending that out as well. Then I'm going to continue with Elf's Cream Contour Palette. I'm actually using the darkest shade to make my low lights stand out. As you can see, I'm also blending it really good uh, because I want it to look pretty, even though it's going to look, of course, not really natural. But yeah, it's important to blend it to make the uh, edges go away and make the darker shade really blend into your skin. start by using Milani's Everyday Eyes Palette. Uh, I actually bought this at Walmart. It's really cheap. Uh, I think it's, what is it, seven or eight dollars for the whole palette and it has one, two, three, four, five, six shades. I uh, actually got this recommended by Tati. She's the most amazing YouTuber and I absolutely I love uh, watching her movies. So yeah, she she recommended it and I bought it and I used it so much as you can see on my Instagram channel I use it in almost every tutorial so this is a really good buy really recommend it super pigmented and also blends really good so yeah as you can see I'm continuing with the shading it's really really important to blend it out even though it's yeah it looks really hard right now but it's gonna look so good at the end then I'm gonna go over to the eyes. As you can see, I start with the lightest color and then I'm gonna build it up. Uh, remember your features. So as you see later, I'm gonna drag in a little bit out and also gonna work the color into over the crease a little bit on the inner corner of the eyes. This is not to be like the prettiest. <laughs> this is not likely to be <laughs> make you really pretty, but at the same time, it's gonna make your skull look much more yeah, skull-like. So do it and you're gonna see the effect a little bit later. 
I'm also going to take a little bit of shadow. I'm using actually the almost darkest, I think the darkest brown right here, to just shade out where I'm going to put the color for the teeth a little bit later. So this is an important step. Just going to enhance a little bit under my lip uh, and also my nose uh, bridge. I think it just looks pretty. I know this is not like the skullish, but yeah. I want to look a little bit pretty even though I'm going to be a skull. So I think this steps really makes my lip pop out and also my nose bridge looks a little bit thinner. Then I'm going to start with the black on the eyes. As you can see now, uh, I'm going to make it go a little bit faster for you guys because then I'm going to uh, start building it up. This shade is actually really yeah pigmented even though it actually didn't look that black on the screen I can see but it really makes the eye pop out and I'm building it up step by step because I don't want too heavy uh, for like in the beginning because then it's just gonna make everything go down on my cheek and the rest of the makeup is gonna be ruined so build it up uh, as you can see I'm doing right here and I'm dragging it into the inner corner and also a little bit out to make the eyes look bigger. Now I'm going to take the same black color just with a little smaller brush and enhance my inner outer corners to make the black more intense. Then it's time for brows. Uh, if any of you have seen my Instagram account, you probably will know that I love brows. I love them big, bushy and yeah. Now I'm going to actually make them a lot darker because the rest of the makeup is so dark that if I use like my regular shade uh, you're not even gonna see it or it's not gonna stand out so use a darker shade than you usually would have used and also you can top it off with a little bit of brow gel that's really makes them pop out When I got the intensity of the eyes that I wanted, I'm gonna go over to use this Fix Plus spray from MAC Cosmetics and also just like a regular black uh, water-based uh, face paint. Uh, and I used a little brush, as you can see, to make my lines really sharp and precise. I'm gonna start with the nose. I like to actually not bake it uh, so big. I see a lot of other people that do skulls make the nose really big. Uh, you can do that, of course, but I think it looks a little bit more feminine uh, with a smaller nose. I think it looks just a little bit prettier. If you want, go for like the more uh, darker, even more heavier, not that pretty-ish skull. You can, of course, make it bigger and also the shade around the eyes, you can make those bigger. And for the dots that I'm starting with now, of course, you can do them however you want. Uh, I just looked at a lot of inspirational pictures and this was actually the yeah the shape and the yeah what I liked actually. So but you can play around with it. I'm using the back of my um my the back of my oh my god what's it called the back of my my brush oh my god <laughs> the back of my brush uh, because I figured out it was really much easier to make perfect round circles with the end of that instead of the tip of the pencil. That was really hard actually. But yeah, as you can see, try to make everything as symmetrical as you can. It's really hard so use the time you want and yeah, just play around. going to go in and use the black for around the eye area because this is going to make my eyes stand out when I apply the lashes. I'm also going to make a little winged liner. I just think this looks pretty so yeah that's why I'm doing it. You don't need to do it and also you can use more black if you want as I said earlier. This is what just I prefer uh, and yeah I think it looks really nice with a little winged liner. Then I'm going to go in with Art Deco Soft Eyeliner Waterproof in this shade 10 that's black this step is really important if you see like a skull that don't have this black on the waterline it's not going to look as good especially with the lashes because you want everything in the middle to be pitch black 
Now I'm gonna apply the lashes. These ones are actually just from eBay. They cost me like, I don't know, $2 for, what is it? Six pairs or something. So yeah, I love actually those lashes from eBay. Super cheap and they work perfectly. Then I'm just gonna apply a little bit of concealer on my lips to make them kind of like blur away and then enhance the already made shape I'm shade I made around the lips. I'm also gonna go in with Makeup Mecca's lip liner in the shade number two, just to enhance my lips a little bit more. I think this makes it looks a little bit more feminine in the end. Now I'm gonna start with painting the teeth. Uh, hair is really important to do a little bit on both sides as you can see I'm doing uh, because you want it to be symmetrical if you don't do this you're gonna end up with like four teeth on the one side and on the other side it's gonna be like seven I've done this so many times and I oh, hate it when it happens so yeah that's a really really good tip Then I'm gonna go over the eyes a little bit more again after the glue has dried from the lashes to make everything pitch black. This is gonna make it look so much better. And I'm also gonna go over the dots to make them like super black. You don't need to do this next step. Uh, it's gonna make the, the skull looks really much sharper, but I know that a lot of people don't like to get like paint on their other <laughs> other areas than their face but if you want to do this uh, just enhance your jawline and all around the face uh, with the um, black water paint and just blend it out and make it paint down to your clothes this is gonna make yeah as I said in real life this makes everything look so much better and yeah as you can see just blending it out with a big brush and yeah that's it now it's time for my favorite part actually it's time to put on the wig that does the biggest difference in the world i'm just gonna take my hair up and put on my bowl cap <laughs> i don't know if i'm doing this right this is just the way i do it i'm not saying this is perfect or anything just the way i like to do it you can also use glue uh, I'm not going to use glue now to attach my, my wig just because this is a really cheap wig and I'm going to attach it kind of with the crown. Uh, but as you see now, I'm just going to pull it a little bit back so it's going to sit tight around my, my head. And as I'm showing you now, it's not plucked yet. Um, so I'm going to make another video with that. I'm also going to tell you that a little bit later. So this is a really cheap uh, wig I'm gonna put the link to it down below in the description box but just yeah put it on uh, it's no rules just try it out I was really new to wigs just like a month ago so yeah I'm still learning but yeah as you can see it looks already much better just come through it and it makes everything sit the way you want and yeah that's almost the final look Yeah, so then it's time for the final step, the crown, da 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 So yeah, this is everything. This is really easy, cheap, everyone can do it. You don't need that much and yeah, I think it looks pretty good. So I hope you liked the tutorial. I love it got it yesterday so so happy I haven't plucked it yet so as you saw the the front is not really good but I'm gonna show you in another video how I pluck my really cheap eBay wigs and make them look more real so that's gonna come in another video and yeah I hope you 
liked what you saw and please give me a thumb up and a subscribe if you want to see more of these looks and have some more inspo before Halloween or regular beauty looks that are also going to come. So yeah, thank you for watching. Mwah.